Didn't Jessica tell you I was coming? You're the artist. That's me. No, she didn't tell you were coming. She, she didn't get a chance. Never mind. Well, listen, if you want me to do this, that's fine. No, no. Uh, no, I, Jessica thinks very highly of your work. On, honestly, I, I just didn't think that you'd be willing to work for me. It never crossed my mind. Well, I'm here, aren't I? Yes, yes, you are. Why? Well, I'm sure Jessica told you I needed the money. Hmm. She didn't tell you anything, did she? No. No, 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 she didn't. What's going on? Uh, the, there was this thing with Antonio's inheritance. He could have contested it, but he decided to do the honorable thing and return the money. So he's selling Capricorn, which probably means I'm out of a job. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Antonio sold his half of my vineyard to lovely Jared, and now he's got nothing to show for it. I didn't come here so you can gloat. You know what, you're right. I don't think I want to work for you after all. I have missed you so much. And that is the most wonderful dinosaur I have ever seen. I'm gonna go make another one, okay. I thought it was a snake. Oh, well, it's the first thing that came to my head. I used to read that brontosaurus book when she was about Bree's age, until someone told me that brontosaurus never existed, so. It's still a good book. How's Bree? She's great. She's getting uh, really big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris told me that uh, you called him about doing some work for Nash. I guess the vineyard's doing all right. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, Antonio, I just, I just wanted to come by and say that I'm sorry about your inheritance, and I am even more sorry because I was the one that pushed you into taking it. Nobody pushes me into anything. I know, but, you know, I just kept on telling you over and over again, do it for Jamie, do it for Jamie, and I, I don't know. I, We're gonna be all right. I know you are, but I, sometimes, I don't know, I feel like it's easier if you've never had something at all than to have it for a little while and then have it taken away. Depends what you're talking about. I mean, you know what they say about love. Sometimes it's better to have loved and lost than ever have loved at all. Check out my science project. Yeah. Want some? Uh, no, I don't think I'll eat your science project now. But I bet Lois would. She's upstairs, why don't you show it to her? Okay. Oh, and uh, thanks for the ride, Marcy. Anytime. I, um, I, I was just supposed to drop Shane off at the door, but you know, he had so much stuff that he, he couldn't carry it by himself, so I'm, I'm sure that I'm not welcome in your home, so I'm just Marcy, gonna go Marcy, Marcy, wait, please. How are you? I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. Well, I just, I forgot to tell you that, uh, that Gigi is staying in Landview and I helped get her a job at BE. That's it? Yeah, well, Natty thought that you would want to know, and I told her you wouldn't care. So, what's going on? I'm coming home. Yes! She's coming home! <laughs> Your darling Vicky has pulled every low and mean trick known to humankind to ruin my life. So what if I'm merely returning the favor? And how does letting the Buchanans think that Jared is one of them get back at Vicky? Vicky and Clint were married to each other for many, many years. Yeah, and they have a lot of very nice things to say about each other. Right. I had the misfortune to be involved for a time with the holier-than-thou Clint Buchanan. He cheated on me and then had the gall to blame me for it. Of course, I should have known better than to get involved with one of Vicky's tired hand-me-downs. She probably tried to poison his mind against me right from the beginning. Well, so you think that Clint used you? And to make up for that, you're using me to get back at him and Vicky? If that's how you choose to look at it. So when you invited me to stay at your house, and I slept there, and I ate your food, this was the price that you expected me to pay, to be beholden to you for forever. No. 
It'll be a much higher price than that. Okay, you can get out your red pen, Natty, because Adriana and I are going to set a date ASAP. Great! Uh, she talked to you about being in the wedding, right? Can't wait. I just need to round up a few groomsmen. And don't worry, Uncle Jared's not invited. Thank you. Here's that spreadsheet you wanted. Oh, thank you. Uh, did Jared take a look at these figures? I don't think so. He's not here. Mr. Buchanan was looking for him. Which Mr. Buchanan? Uh, forget about being formal around here. Otherwise, Ooh. nobody will ever know who you're talking about. Oh. What did you tell him? That I'm new and barely know where the copier is, let alone where employees go for lunch. Great answer. Thanks. Why do you care that she covered for Jared? I don't. But I do want to make sure she knows what to say when a boss puts her on the spot. And speaking of being put on the spot, I need to get back to work. Yeah, okay. I take the hint. I'll see you. Let me help you with that. Ah, fine. Right. No, seriously, no big deal. I'm so sorry. You better be. <laughs> I'm sure that you can never forgive me, and I, I, I don't, I don't expect you to. My apologies for coming here, Vicky. Marcy, I... please. I'd really like to talk to you. Okay, fine. I made a terrible mistake in trusting you, and I'm willing to pay the price. But what about my son? What is my involvement with you going to cost him, hmm? Jared seems to be doing quite well. And <laughs> he's been quite valuable to me. But how was how that? I mean, when he tried to tell everyone at the ball the truth, you stopped him. You said that all three of us could go to jail for what he was doing to the Buchanans. Who would believe you, a drunk? Or him, an ex-con over one of the most respected citizens in Landview. Really? Not by me? Oh? Well, by everybody else who matters. I was just having lunch with the mayor and the new police commissioner. I'm not in danger of going to jail anytime soon. But you are, and Jared is, and I'll be the one to decide if and when. So, now you know the truth. I hope you're happy.